Hey, what's going on? Meteorologist Mike Linden here. In this tutorial, we are going to be talking about the powerful hurricane tracker feature in the My Radar app. There's so much that you can do within this feature that we really wanted to break it down for you. Now, the hurricane tracker is a premium feature, but if you do not have it, we will still show you on the map the location of a current storm, that being a tropical storm and above. Once you tap on it, you can see the name of that storm as well. But the hurricane tracker is such a powerful feature and you can really do a lot with it here. So let's go into the layers menu. Looks like the stack of cards on the toolbar and we'll turn on the hurricane tracker. What this will do right off the bat is show you areas of interest, that being those colors drawn by the National Hurricane Center, as well as current storms. So in this particular instance, as we are recording, you can see this area of interest here over the Eastern Pacific, tap on that area to see full discussion from the National Hurricane Center. Now, just ahead of that, you can see right there is Calvin. So we can tap on Calvin and you can see a full breakdown of Calvin's statistics here, a category one hurricane at this time of recording with its current wind speed, wind gusts, ground speed, as well as its location as well. But what's really neat, if we zoom out here, you can see Calvin's current path along with the time of potential arrival. All of this comes from the National Hurricane Center. This is particularly useful as well if you happen to live in a hurricane prone area and want to apply that path to where you live. Again, in this particular instance, it doesn't look like Calvin is much threat to land. Let's take a look at the Pacific, or the Atlantic rather. We've got another area of interest here. Again, you can tap on that to get more information at this particular time. Uh, this Atlantic area of interest, a 60% probability of development. But within the Hurricane Tracker, if we go back to the Layers menu and tap on the Hurricane Tracker, you have the Cone of Probability, which we just saw for Alex, but, or for Calvin rather, but let's switch it to the Wind Speed Forecast. Tap on that, hit Done, and go back to Calvin, and this is going to show you the arrival time of tropical storm force winds, as well as the probability. You can zoom in and you can see on the map legend there, a the percentage of probability of those tropical storm force winds along its current path, as well as the time of arrival. So, so cool. So let's just say that you want to pick a historic hurricane and see its path on the map. That's available in the My Radar app. So neat. Let's zoom down here and let's pick Ian in the Atlantic and hit done. Zoom out here and we will see Ian's path. You can see where Ian was born effectively here as a depression in the Caribbean Sea. And you can see all along its path, its stages of development, tropical storm, as well as category one, two, three hurricane, all the way up to landfall here in Fort Myers Beach as a category four hurricane. You can also see that it maintained hurricane strength as it worked its way through Southwest Florida. Again, a really useful feature, and you can combine this as well with the historical radar feature, which is a premium feature as well, to go back and look at historic reflectivity too. Really, really neat stuff. So that's gonna do it for the hurricane tracker feature. This is an incredibly useful feature all across the world as this not only functions for both the Atlantic and the Pacific, but anywhere where there is a tropical cyclone developing on Earth, all you have to do is tap on that storm to get the latest information. And of course, you can customize your look to see the cone of probability or the wind speed forecast. Follow My Radar on social media Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download My Radar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, Xbox, and Windows.